The latest generation of Honda's humanoid robot Asimo made its European debut in Brussels last week. Not only can the new Asimo now recognise faces and voices speaking to it simultaneously, but it can run at 9km an hour and can even jump and hop on one leg. T3 was lucky enough to get behind the scenes access to the all new Asimo, even getting a chance to speak to chief engineer Satoshi Shigemi. Here's what he had to say as communicated to us by his translator. Good thing that robotics research has become popular in the last years and nowadays many are working on robotics. So we have a lot of contact and relationships in Europe, especially with, for example, DLR or ITT, uh, who are working very intensively in robotics technology. We have um, a lot of contacts and information exchange. So it's a good thing that, that we have now many institutions working in that area. For the future, of course, we want the humanoid robots to be able to coexist with, with, with humans and also to operate and work um, within the human environment. Therefore, we still have a long way to go. We need to solve uh, still many issues. But yes, now we have a robot which can move from A to B and to perform some basic things there. Our next step will certainly be to improve the dexterity so that it can perform even, let's say, complex uh, jobs on site, but also to improve and increase the communication capability. Technologies we have been developing within our humanoid robots um, or um, robotics uh, development um, have actually found their way into mass production applications for cars. For example, some driver assist system um, like the collision mitigation brake system of Honda is utilizing um, some base elements of, of such robotics um, technologies. Also, many kind of control strategies have been utilized for some applications. One quite lively example is the um, is the bank angle estimation of our machines of the of, of MotoGP, which is basically using the same algorithm as Asimo is estimating the inclination of the floor he is standing on. So there are many applications where actually these kind of technologies found their way into. To show or to demonstrate Asimo's capability with dancing is of course to show also the, the capability of, of all the actuation of the motors, a cooperative control um, of all the sensors and actuators, but also to demonstrate how stable Asimo is, even though he is waving and moving his, his, his arms and body in quite um, high speed. Every time we have Asimo dancing, the audience was, was smiling and we could somehow feel a certain, let's say, um, enjoyment. We have improved the dexterity of the fingers or in the hand. Um, this means we have increased the degree of freedom from 2 to 13 per hand um, in order to perform really tiny things with, with the hand. So Asimo is now capable in opening a bottle and pouring fluid into a flexible cup. 